right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate a fancy fold that I learned recently from a guy, from another demonstrator. Her name's Wendy Lee. And I've done fun folds before, and I, just, I love fun folds. I like having a card that's maybe you want a little something extra special for someone. And so when I saw this, I thought it was super cute. So, so this is one of my samples. It's just, you know, you've got the the golf bundle, but you open this up and it kind of sits up. And so you've got some decorated panels, you've got a little panel that you can write on, and it just kind of can sit up like this. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, so kind of fun. I thought it was just really cute, and so I'm going to show you how to do this fun fold. I don't even know what it's called. I can't remember. So sorry. Okay, so you're going to need quite a few pieces. So you're going to start with a five and a half by 12. Um, so you're going to have to use like 12 by 12 cardstock, but it's worth it. Um, piece of paper, and then you're going to take another five and a half by four and a half. You're going to take your large one and you're going to score it at four inches and then at eight inches. And then your smaller piece, you're going to score it a half inch. Then you're going to take the fifth largest of our stitched rectangles and you're going to cut out all four of these panels so that it, they'll all you know, kind of look like that. These are just the pieces here, so let me give you that first. Then you're going to take four three and three quarters by five and a quarter sheets of paper, cardstock, and you're going to cut out the centers of those with the sixth largest stitched rectangle. So you'll do cut all those. And then for the inside, you're going to need um, a piece of paper that's nine inches by three and a quarter and one that's eight and a half inches by three and a quarter. So there's lots of pieces, but like I said, it's, it's worth it because it's a fun card. So you'll have those, and then you'll have your front and back cover that's three and three quarters by five and a quarter. You're going to adhere these with dimensionals in the four corners only, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I kind of have one that's I've started. So these are, so you've cut out you know, your five, your four rectangles, and you've taken your pieces that you've cut out, and then you're just going to adhere that on these, like this. So, and then you're going to take this piece, and you're going to take off your tear and tape, maybe, and then you're going to adhere it here. You're going to add that on like that, and then you're going to just fold this like mountain style. And you can use like your bone folder. So you've kind of got this right here. You've kind of got your little base right there. Then you're gonna take your three and a quarter by nine and then three and a quarter by eight. And you're going to score those, and I've got that marked on there. And then you're gonna put tear and tape on this one little half inch. And you're gonna put this on, wait a minute. So you're going to attach like that, and then it's going to be folded. You're also going to do that like mountain style. And then you notice that I have dimensionals on these little panels just on the inside. And I'll show you why in just a second. So then you're going to decorate your panels. And I don't have like all of these done, but you're going to want to decorate these before you glue this part in. But then you're going to take these panels and you'll, um, you can stamp them. You might want to leave one of them plain just so that you've got a place to, to write on it. This one, you're going to not want to center it. You're going to want to actually put it here close to the score line. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, so then when you put this all together, you're going to thread it through the back like this and inside there and here. Then I like to take some adhesive and just put a little bit right here. And then 
you're going to just kind of center this like at the top and bottom and then just leave like a little border like a little white border right there like that and then you'll put adhesive there and do the same thing for this side and then you've got like your base then when you put your front and back covers on you're going to sit and close this up and then you're going to add your ribbon and you're going to add about 25 around probably not quite 25 maybe 23 inches of ribbon and you're going to just tie it in the bow now and then you're going to take your front and back cover and you're going to just put dimensionals in the four corners then you'll peel off these right here and then you'll stick this on that way when you're opening it up the reason why you do it dimensionals is so that your ribbon your ribbon can freely slide because when you open it like this it's kind of tight and you want to be able to kind of pull it so you only want to attach these and the reason why you have the dimensionals here on these little backs is so that they'll stick to the back because if not you can kind of see that it kind of hangs down because of the weight so you'll stick that and that way it stays firm so I said a lot of pieces but it's kind of cute here's another one that I did using our little tropical suite and you kind of open this one like like that and you've got little birthday and that's it so it's kind of just a fun different fold that's kind of fancy and cute and that's it <laughs>